Adrian Onofre, a graduate student originally from Lexington, Massachusetts, Ivan Tan, and our returning champion, an attorney originally from Gillette, New Jersey, Dan Fitel, whose two days had winnings total $45,599. Of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Dan, is your mom in the audience again today? Yes. Watch All out. right, then I'll make sure I pronounce your name correctly. Ivan and Ifre is a writer and editor from New York who once created a word. I did when I was a child, but it is why to this day I have friends and relatives who, um, when they see something cute, they do not say cute, they call it a kurji. A kurji? Yes. How did you come up with that word? You know, I don't even remember. It was so long ago, but um, my friends and family have been trying to spread it to other people. Well, good for them. <laughs> Propagation. That's what we need more of with language. Ivan Tan is a graduate student. He deals with language, but he must have a great sense of humor because I hear he once entered the dining hall in kind of an unusual way. Yes, so uh, during my freshman year of undergrad, my friends and I found a pile of ropes and metal stakes that had been used to fence off areas of the quad, and we constructed a rope ladder and then uh, entered into a courtyard in the dining hall via rope ladder. Did you get into trouble for that? No, we actually got a standing ovation from all the diners. I thought you were going to say, no, we actually got an A-plus in our exam. <laughs> oh, college students, that's why we go to, to college, to do things like that. Dan Fitel is our champion, and I'm a little concerned about him because he is on the Secret Service list of people who do, like Ivan, Weird things. What did you do to get the Secret Service interested in you? Well, it wasn't that weird, but I used to, when I lived in Washington, D.C., play flag football in a league that played on the Ellipse, which is a lawn just south of the White House. And occasionally, if the president would need to be coming in or out of the south entrance to the White House, Secret Service members would uh, come along and kind of usher us off the field without, uh, without much humor about it. And so I've had a couple run-ins with them where I had to get out. So they don't like it when you're playing touch football there and you're telling everybody go deep go deep <laughs> yeah okay let's get back into this adrian you're on the board now make a selection please players now have to deal with american literature in the final and here is the clue published a year later good wives was a follow-up to this 1868 novel 30 seconds players good luck We start with Ivan, who was in third place with 15,200. Impressive. And he wrote down, what is the house of seven gables? And that is wrong. Sorry. It'll cost you everything you had, dropping you down to zero. Let's go to Adrian now. She had 15,700. And her response was, what is little women? You're correct. Your wager, 14,701. You are now in the lead with $30,401. I knew somebody would get a lot of money today. We come to our champion, Dan Fitel. He came up with a correct response. Did he risk more than $10,401? Hello, $19,999, $39,999. And now, a three-day total of $85,598. The young man is good. And he'll wrap the week up with us right here on Jeopardy tomorrow. See you then.